Yo, what's up guys, it's Beb. So you guys might have downloaded your 3D files templates for making Spark AR hoodie, logo tracking, cool object stuff, right? For the creative challenge. So how did I make the Animus project? I'm gonna give you a few tips and I'm gonna show you a few things of how I made the dancing Animus character on top of the logo. So here I have a Lens Studio project open. What I did was I went to Blender and I loaded in the character model. And then I went to File, Export, OBJ, okay? And then I exported the OBJ because the OBJ will not have images on it. I did that because when I go to Mixamo, you can upload your character with a lot more ease. It's not gonna have errors if you upload a OBJ character. So I went to Upload and I loaded in my OBJ character. And then now my character looks like this. It's standing around and it uses whatever animation that I have, right? So now that I have an animation on top of the character, the OBJ file, then I hit download. All right. Now back over to Lens Studio. Once I have the new file downloaded, it is downloaded as an FBX. I went to file, I went to import, and I looked for that FBX and I loaded it in. So mine was called nervously look around FBX. So I loaded this, I hit import. So you can import it straight from Mixamo in a sense. Once it's downloaded from Mixamo, use that file and import that straight into Spark AR or Lens Studio. Okay? So from here, I went to nervously look around. This is what I just added into the scene, right? And I looked for where I had the logo tracking. So mine is called image tracking in this file. And I just drag and dropped it onto image tracking. And you can see here I already have one previously because I'm using the same file again for this example. And on this new one that says nervously look around, I have it selected and I want to change the scale so I can see it. So the scale right now is on one, but if I make it 50, for example, now you can see the little guy over here. He's underneath the legs and a little bit in the chest, right? So with this little guy over here, for this example, I'm just going to pull him forward, right? I'm going to move him so we can see him right there, the little guy. And if you don't have these arrows, it's this button up here at the top right the move tool so if you have this selected you can now click and drag and move objects around your scene All right so now the character's actually technically good to go it just doesn't have textures yet but the animations themselves will play automatically so you don't have to do anything for animations animations are automatic but we do need to texture the file okay so how do we do textures so we have to click on every single part of your object and apply the textures. But first you need to know if you have the textures. So here I have a folder of all the textures for this file, for this 3D object. If you look at your clone files, you might notice they also have textures in them. That's what we're gonna load into the scene, okay? So the easiest way, the fastest way is you highlight all of these and we just drag them into the scene over here. And you can see I have, I have them already all loaded in. You just drag and drop them like that, boom. Right, and then you're good to go. They'll load in, they'll auto compress by themselves. And now you have the images ready to load on two materials, okay? So now if I grab like the horn or the head, whatever part, you're gonna have to do this to every single part. We're gonna hit choose material. We're gonna hit plus, and we're gonna hit empty material. And you're gonna see an empty material pop up over here. And then we can rename this if we want. So let's say I named this as horn and I hit okay. So now this has a horn material attached to it. And on the bottom left, we can see there's now horn down here. So if I select this horn, this is what we need to apply a material to, okay? But you're gonna notice, huh? I follow what you did, and there is no slot for an image like this one, right? Okay, so to do this, we need to actually have the material be, I'm gonna show you right now, a simple PBR or a PBR, right? So if I choose PBR and I select, uh, that's, a, that's fine, I'll just hit okay. So you can see PBRs allow base normal material parameters. This is what you're looking for. So if your character doesn't need an image texture, you can choose a simple material, an empty material. If it does need one, you can choose a PBR. So in this example, we need a PBR. We see it's attached to PBR. So I'm going to get rid of the first material slot, leave the PBR. 
and I'm gonna hit base texture and this is where you would throw in the proper images into that section so for me I have a material made before called horns right this horn is image 5 so on my PBR I'm gonna go image 5 and throw this in the base texture and there we go and why did I show you PBR instead of simple PBR, right? So if I click on the other horn, I'll give you an example of that too right now. So if I go here and I hit plus and I go simple PBR and I hit okay, and then I click on simple PBR at the bottom left, you're gonna see, okay, now this one looks like the ones you use. And yeah, I use this one because I didn't use the normal textures on this because I was saving for file size, right? For the file size up here, which is uh, odd. Okay, there we go. Right, I didn't want it to exceed the eight megabytes and I was getting close. So I went with a simple PBR instead of using a regular PBR, but the regular PBR will allow you to use normal textures. So if you have textures that need the normal to make it pop a little bit better, you could use, you could generate these PBRs instead. But if you don't need the normals, you can go with simple PBR and you won't have them and you'll just have these base uh, metallic and roughness. So for this, I can throw the horns, which was image five, we said into this slot right here. And now you can see on this one, if I wanted to up the roughness, I can make it a little bit more smooth in a way than the other horn. Because this one is using the regular PPR, and this one doesn't have that. It has normal, okay? So depending on what you are building will depend on what type of material you need to use. Just a blank one, a PBR, or a simple PBR. And then you will go through each part of the 3D object until it's completely done and it looks like this big one in the back over here. And then that's it, you're actually good to go. Then you publish the lens and your lens will work and you'll be good to go with, with your dancing animated character or whatever you're building.